Hello, welcome back to another diecast unboxing video. Today we're going to be taking a look at two weeks worth of stuff that I have gotten in for the collection. We're going to start off here with um, actually one of the 50th scale. Still has um, this um, little styrofoam piece. I'll take that off later. Um, but if you did subscribe to me for my aviation content, then start off with something aviation related. This is a grader with a snowplow setup. It won the 50th scale, so normally I'll collect one of the 50th scale, but this will be going on display, maybe in the air, in the um, aviation room. Um, as you can see here, it does say airport municipal services here on the side. This is pretty much a grader by first gear that is set up in a um, plow. Um, a set up here to plow the snow off the runway, of course, um, or off the taxiway, off the tarmac, apron, whatever. Um, but yeah, really detailed here, um, pretty good detail. This, I have a plow here. It's this adjustable plow. You can go up and down. This plow can go side to side and you can change the length of it. Um, this plow right here, the V plow can go up and down as well. And it's connected by a little chain right there. Um, I did look to see if I could find a, one in real life that has this colorway, um, but I couldn't find one with this color. Of course, there are graders out there that are in just a normal yellow colorway that Komatsu makes, but I couldn't find one that's kind of like this weird green color. Oh, it still is pretty cool though. I do like how it says, you know, airport municipal services, and it definitely could be something that you could see in, you know, the more rural airports that get snow. So pretty cool. I'm just gonna give you guys a 360. I'm not gonna go too into detail in depth on this one, but just thought I'd start it off with something aviation related if you are subscribing for my aviation content, which I'm sure there are some of you guys out there that just care about the planes, not the um, trucks or anything, but getting on into the trucks, um, I did get a few uh, things for the landscaping company. Um, one is this newer uh, Bobcat, uh, sorry, Bobcat S76 skid steel loader. This is a new release by Earl. 2021. I um, just got my hands on it finally. Um, yeah, but this will go well with the um, Bobcat excavator that I have. I won the 50th scale. So that's what it'll be matching with. I'll bring it out here. I'm sure you guys have seen this uh, before, but to give you guys a little run around. It's not going to be as detailed as that Diecast Masters Cat um, wheel loader. So let's take a look at um, this one here. Yeah. I'd say it's a little bit better detail, but if you guys want to see a comparison video or a video about that um, snow plower, I will give that to you if you guys want to see it. But um, still, you know, pretty good quality. First, you have that aerial quality, um, but it is very nice that we finally get one, a Bobcat on a 64 scale. You know, a ton of people have been asking for one, and we finally got one. So that's pretty cool. It's about how high it can go. You can bring in a dump truck here, and it doesn't really have the clearance. See if I can put it up a little bit more. Oh, almost. Yep, you can do it. So you can make it so it can dump into a small uh, green light um, uh, dump truck here. It's a pickup with a dump bed. See, so yeah, it doesn't work for that, but of course, will not work on your uh, big Durastar dump trucks from green light or anything like that. But yeah, pretty good detail in here. And uh, yeah, it's cool. Definitely got a lot added to the collection. We'll show you guys it next to the um, excavator a little bit later. Alrighty, now let's move on to a Vermeer uh, mini skid steer. CTX 100 skid, mini skid steer. Now this is one of the 50th scale, but it does, I think, work for one of the 64 scale. So that is a picture of it in real life. I will show you guys what a figure looks like it um, looks like on it. Not as quite as it would be, of course, because it's one of the 50th scale, but um, the figure's head kind of goes up to, I'd say, about right here. So, I mean, you can maybe simulate a smaller guy um, on a mini excavator, but I did get this for a landscaping company because I thought it'd be pretty cool. Here it is, of course. Take a look. Plenty of detail. You do get good detail for the price that you pay. 
See a lot of controls there and such. Rear mirror on the side. Definitely the most detailed mini skid that I have. Has a dump angle on there. Not enough to clear a dump truck or anything, but you can simulate it in kind of mini landscape projects, moving around maybe some rocks or something like that. But pretty cool. Uh, I know the 164 scale landscape or landscaper on Instagram has one of these, and it works for his 164 scale um, landscaping company. So yeah, it's pretty cool. Uh, moving on, do get this Auto World pickup truck here. Um, I'm listening to the 10,000. That's, I think, my first Auto World in my collection. So, don't have much Auto World mainly because they just don't make stuff that I'm really interested in. But this one's actually really nice. I didn't expect it to come out this nice, but I did add a light on top of there, by the way. It can come off, don't worry. Um, this is just a nice red dump truck. It's going to be the boss's truck here. You can nice put a plow on it. The tailgate does fold down, which is a cool feature. Also, the hood does open as well. Reeling the engine inside. We'll be keeping that closed though. But yeah, really detailed. I do like the red color, of course, and I think it looks really good. So yeah, this is going to be the boss's truck. I'll kind of show you guys how it's set up in the diorama a little bit later. But definitely very cool here. And I'm definitely glad I snagged that up. Um, now we're going on to a first gear truck, actually. I actually forgot the um, trailer, so I'm going to get that real quick. Alrighty, so I paid um, about $30 for this. It's actually a first gear truck here. There's the name. 164 scale Mac Pinnacle Day Cab with fuel tanker trailer and the Speedway livery. And I thought it was a pretty good deal because, you know, first gear for $30 in a trailer is really good. Um, you know, some tractors and trailers out there selling, selling for several hundreds of dollars that are made by DCP by first gear. This one's only $30. $30 including the shipping, everything like that. Um, I did get it for this cab, so I'm particularly interested in. Very realistic um, cab that you would see on the side or see driving on the roads, you know, kind of just like a plain day cab, but has their company on there, you know, SWTO LLC, and then their DOT number. That's something you would always see on the road. Um, and really, that's what I collect for. I collect for realism. I collect for stuff like this. Really what I'm into is just the realism. Um, this trailer is definitely cool. Um, of course, this is, not, this is um, plastic right here, and I think this is, you know, hard plastic. So, you know, of course, it's $30. You're not going to be paying, you know, we're not going to be getting a really high-quality model, but it is one the 64 scale, and it will work in your diorama. I'm not going to be using this, I don't think, because I don't really have a Speedway. Um, this is the trailer that comes with. It's pretty heavy, a little, little bit heavy. Um, but, you know, a Speedway tanker that you might... Seen on the road. That's what it's supposed to go with. But I actually have a trailer with it um, that I got custom made or that I bought from someone that did it customized. And it is a US mail trailer. So nothing really too crazy, but this is actually what a US mail trailer looks like. So a US mail contractor would drive one of these. This is how you get your mail. Guarantee your mail has been through one of these trucks before. But it says U.S. Mail there, and they have the trailer number. Sometimes it does say uh, U.S. Mail in the back. This one particularly doesn't. But it's 40 bucks. You know, it's just a trailer. Uh, not in the best condition. But, you know, again, realism, again, you're not going to see these trailers in very good condition. But something that you would see on the road a lot is just a mail contractor. So, you know, say SWTO LLC. And they'd be pulling a... U.S. mail trailer. You know, that's something, no doubt, is definitely probably on the roads right now. You know, have a day cab blue truck with some mail contractor's company on it, and it's probably pulling a um, U.S. mail uh, truck as we speak. So, yeah, going for that realism, um, 
And I thought it looks pretty cool. I thought it goes with it pretty well. I'm not sure if this thing is supposed to be able to clear the roof. As you can see here, it doesn't quite clear the roof. It's not made for this kind of trailer, of course. So I don't know if it's still supposed to be able to. I'm not really sure if it's realistic. It is kind of on the smaller side of this cab here, but I think it does work well with uh, any other trucks in the diorama. Um, so yeah, that is the Diecast Weekly uh, for this week. Hopefully you guys do enjoy, and I'll see you all in the next one.